And I believe we are live. Hey guys, it's Victor. Give me a break, man. Give me a flick, man. Um, doing a long, uh, old-fashioned uh, podcast type of laundry vlog. Okay, so well, I'm too close to that mic, right? Did I blow out your ears? Sorry about that. So um, I'm using the GoPro here to. Uh, I mean, the iPhone here to check out the GoPro. So hopefully, I do this correctly. Okay. Well, hey guys. Um, so here's the thing. I love communicating with you guys. And um, I don't get a chance that often because um, I'm just busy, you know. But but um, you're always in my thoughts. Oh, there's a hanger. Because you can see everything in this room this way. This is terrible. It's a hanger. That's where I hang my, my lingerie, you know. Okay. So I thought I would um, do a little video. Just some things on my mind that I thought I wanted to comment on. Um... Maggie, my dog, is still dead. Just a little update on that. Um, yeah, I don't, you know, I'm not really that sad about it, but if a lot of people think I'm sadder about that than you would think. <laughs> I mean, it's been like five years, right? So, um, I'm editing a Kit Kat video with Charlie no Seikatsu. Probably most of you don't remember him. Uh, Tom Fallon from Ghost of Matsubara and Giggles, Giggles? No, not Giggles. What the hell is this? <laughs> not Giggles. Giggles, Giggles the guys, you know. Um, Piggles, the guy <laughs> giggles. Jesus Christ, uh, I've only had one of these. I'm gonna have another one though. But, but yesterday, or was it days before? I don't really know because you know, when you have kids, it's hard to keep up with news and shit. Cheers, by the way. Come by. Um, Trump was in Japan, and the funny thing, yeah, funny thing is, I'm um, to even mention this is like, oh my god, death, how can you mention this? Why are you, why are you disenfranchising your viewers? Uh, it's no secret that I think Trump is an idiot. Um, but I gotta say that um, it wasn't too bad here, you know? I mean, uh, the guy's 72 years old. He came to Japan. He's the leader of America, which is, you know, a leading world power still, I think. I think so. I think it's still. Is it really? Let me just wipe that. Just clean your face. You got some, sp you got some spittle on your face. I just have to clean it off. Um, so he came to he came to the sumo, sumo tournament and they got a couch out for him so he could sit down comfortably. You know I had no problem with it. Um, I thought before it happened I thought I might have a, um, it might bug me a little bit because because I can't st stand Trump so I'm, yeah I guess I'm probably you know prone to look for mistakes or you know I'm 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 uh, predisposed to to being nitpicky right. But to be honest, um, I watched uh, some of his presentation on the news, and I thought it was fine. So just to summarize, he was here for a couple of days. I don't know how long. He met uh, Abe, who's a kiss ass in Japan. He's just he's just uh, Japan's prime minister, but he's he's kissing Trump's ass. And is this correct? Is this this is videoing correctly? I think is this video? Yeah. Okay. So check. Um, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. I guess, in a way, it's kind of his Abe's job. By the way, it's Abe, not Abe. Some people call him Abe, like Abe Lincoln or some silliness. It's Abe. So Abe is the leader of Japan, which is uh, a great country in itself. Um, and some people criticize Abe for kissing Trump's ass. But, well, let's be, let's be realistic. I mean, Trump's in charge of America, and America's a... Uh, economically much stronger, militarily speaking, also much stronger country than Japan. So, uh, Japan needs America much more than America needs Japan, I would think. Except we like their products quite a bit. So, uh, and we're so materialistic. Maybe that means more than I think it does. But, and of course, we love anime and all that crap, right? Oops, pickles the gaijin. Um. So, um, anyway, so Abe's kissing Trump's ass. Ask him to uh, ask him to. <laughs> Trump came. Trump, by the way, has a really big ass. Have you seen pictures of his ass? It's huge. It's like, wow. Yeah, that's, that's quite an export there. Um, Trump came to Japan and he attended a sumo match and he gave away, like, from what I'm led to believe or from the little research I've done, they like, created a special presidential cup to award a sumo uh, wrestler, a rikishi. And... Um, and uh, he gave it to him. It's 30 kilograms, which is fucking heavy. Let's see what I got here. What do I work out with? 
It's just going to make, give me an idea here. Hold on, let me, these are, oh my god. This is, I believe, 2.5. I remember what this is. Let's just take this off here. It worked out today, but this is, what is this? I don't even know how much this is here. I'm embarrassed. I don't know the weight of what I work out with here. And these weights are kind of sticking, so. Give me a second while I figure this out. This is a laundry video, which means if you haven't figured it out by now, so I never get to the point. I take my sweet ass time with this, but. Anyway. My kid, my kids are sleeping. Shut up. My little, my daughter. She, uh, five, four, this is 10, 15. This is 17 and a half, so double this. So that's effing heavy. Yeah, that's effing heavy, almost. A little under, what double, I think this is 17, so that would be, so let me see. So, oh, wow, that would be heavy. This is what I do. Oh, yeah, this is what I do curls with. This is 17 kilograms. That was 30 kilograms, I believe. Was it 30 pounds? This would be, actually, that makes more sense, because I, I think that was too big. I think it was 30 pounds. 30 pounds was, was, was about that. Let's, let's find out. Um, how much was Trump's, what do I do? Trump's tax cut? No. <laughs> Trump's sumo cup. Wait, let's see if we can find that out. It was, hmm, 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 I don't know. Doesn't. I don't know. Trump, to accommodate Trump, Japan changed the rules of sumo. Yeah, okay. That's fine. You can read all about that. I don't really care. Of course, they should uh, change the rules. 60 pounds. Yeah, it, I was right. It was 30 kilograms. 60 pounds. Well, they say 60 pounds. I, I heard 30 kilograms, which would have been more than 60 pounds, but whatever. Anyway, long story short, I think Trump's an idiot and a disgrace. And a liar, and I don't understand why people can support a, a liar like that. But I don't think he, you know, he did a bad job here, here in Japan. I remember years ago when um, Obama came, and people gave Obama shit for bowing. Oh my God, he bowed to the emperor. He shook his hand and bowed. And I just thought, okay, they're going to give Trump's going to do the same thing, and they're not going to give Trump shit because everyone's they're all hypocrites, right? But but to be fair, they didn't. I mean, uh, Trump didn't bow. Uh, he just shook hands, and he, but he was, you know, he was polite. He was uh, gracious. So, so good, so good. You know, I'm glad. I'm I'm glad he didn't embarrass us. I expected he would, to be honest. So fine, good. That's out of the way. Uh, I wanted to mention that. However, the reason, the actual first reason I made this, because I didn't even know about, I mean, I mean, I knew he was coming, but I didn't really care. The first reason I wanted to make this video was just, I just wanted to start making these, you know, daily comment videos about Japan and life here and things that are happening here. And something that happened just yesterday was Hokkaido, which is the north, most northern island. Japan has like three or four major uh, islands. And actually, has, there are hundreds of islands. That's, that's why originally, originally the name of Japan, of Japan was called the Japan Z. I believe. If I look at the Japans, I think the original name many, many years ago, the Japans. Uh, is it right? I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember anymore. Um, maybe the Japan Islands. Anyway, originally, because there are there are uncountable number of islands in, uh, uh, in Japan. Uh, there are four major ones, I, be I believe, though. There's like Okinawa, there's Honshu, there's Hokkaido, uh, Kyushu, Kyushu, Honshu, Hokkaido, and there's another one I forgot. The other one that I've been to once, but it's not that not important. There, there are more too. I mean, tons more. What's the other one? Um, major islands of Japan. Here we go. The major islands of Japan. Uh, four major: Hokkaido, Honshu, uh, Shikoku. Yes, I forgot Shikoku. Okay, Shikoku. Okay. Anyway, um, calm down, man. I haven't made a video in a while, so I'm a little, I'm a little rusty. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous to be, to be. You know, I haven't seen you in a while, guys. I'm, I'm a little nervous. Please forgive me. Uh, yeah. So Hokkaido, which is the most northern island 
apparently, and I, again, check your facts, folks, because I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm telling you what I, I read, and part of it in Japanese, so I'm, I may have made mistakes. Japan, uh, Hokkaido uh, got over 40, um, hit, hit over 40 degrees Celsius, which is, just to give you guys, what is 40 degrees Celsius in, in, in Fahrenheit? 40 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit is 140 degrees in the most northern island of Japan, and that's a record. Apparently, Hokkaido has never reached that, and never even broken like 38 or 37, 35 maybe, in May. And it's May, it's only May, it's not even like summer yet. It hit 39.5 degrees, which is, oh, I, sh I, I said 40, didn't I? It's almost the same, 39.5, 30, yeah, 39.5 degrees, which is about 103 degrees, which is hot as hell. And two people died uh, in Japan. Um, one was 36 years old, and one was 65 or something, of heat stroke. Now... Um, now, I I spent a lot of time as a kid in hot places. <laughs> My summer's in Florida, and uh, I've been in Peru many, many times. Amazon jungle. Anyway, I've been in hot places. I think I can, I thought I could survive uh, hot places. But last year, for the first time ever, I, uh, I was in, here in Japan, and I woke up with one morning with heat stroke, though at the time I didn't, I didn't know what it was. I just felt dizzy and nauseous, and, or is it nauseated? I think it's nauseated. Anyway, I felt sick to my stomach and dizzy and weak. Uh, and I, I think I'd been working out at that time. I don't remember. Uh, it, was, it was last year, anyway. Yeah, it was, I was working out last year. Already, so. so anyway, uh, there you go. So even a, a fit fellow like me, <laughs> fairly fit, um, arguably pretty fit, I think. Um, yeah, I'm not going to make the Olympics anymore. So I can get heat stroke too. So like a 36-year-old guy died playing golf yesterday. I mean, that's shocking, you know, 36 years old. Not that golf is the most, you know, f a physically um, challenging sport. But I don't know, I don't know, guys. I'm, I just can't get behind golf as a real sport. Excuse me. Um, but 575 to depending on what news outlet you read. Fake news. Uh, 575 to 600 people got, uh, were, were sent to the hospital. Han So Suru. Han So Suru means sent to the hospital. Look it up. Han So Suru. Like Han So, except Han So, but don't say the law. Were sent to the hospital. And uh, not hospital. Well, I think, a couple, of course, a couple of people were hospitalized. One guy was running a marathon. 24-year-old year old guy. Seriously, uh, in serious condition after running a marathon or during, I don't, I don't think he finished. Uh, so that's that's screwed up. So, uh, so anyway, Japan is, you know, it's suffering. And of course it's global warming, though I'm sure some people would disagree, but that's global warming, right? Um, I wanna I want to point out um, a little bit of stupidity. Uh, one thing, of course, is people who deny global warming. Uh, so you know, but there's no point even you know if you if you if you want to deny it, get in the get in the comment section, help yourself, whatever. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna really bother with you. I think you're ridiculous, though. Uh, the other kind of group of people I think are ridiculous are anti-vaxxers. And I was reading about some virus in Japan. It was in Japanese, and I I realized, oh my God, anti-vaxxers are in Japan now. And this year, in February, Japan had the highest level of, uh, highest number of measles cases ever reported, uh, ever, in Japanese history. So the anti-vaxxers are here. However, they're not the same kind. There's a, apparently a religious group. Uh, there were like 150 cases or so in Japan. Um, and 50 of them were in the prefecture south of uh, Nagoya, where I live, in Mie Prefecture, and about, well, about 48. And 47 or so were in Osaka, which is a little bit uh, west of here. So all around me, right? Anyway, the point is uh, they're they're here, but they're they're it's based on religion. Though I think American anti-vaxxers are just based on our their it's stupidity, you know. Um, <laughs> Japanese anti-vaxxers they just think that medicine can call can cause disease, uh, and there's some kind of religion connected to it. So uh, which is also kind of stupidity. 
though I should not ever say that because I know a lot of you guys are religious and you don't like yeah it's one thing I just can't stand is like I can't if you believe in aliens or Bigfoot or the Loch Ness Monster I can make fun of you but if you believe that Jesus died and came back three days later like a zombie I can't make fun of that you know it's just sorry guys and man I just don't understand how I mean religion is an it's an incredible thing because with all these scandals with the Catholic religion and still so many supporters that's just amazing this is amazing to me. Anyway, so I wanted to talk about that a little bit and just point out to you that that kind of shit happens in Japan too, and you might be surprised. Those two things. Uh, the other, what was the other thing? Something else. Anti-vaxxers, heat stroke. Uh, no, that's it. Heat stroke, anti-vaxxers, and Trump. Those, are, those, those were the major um, three things. Though, of course, there are tons of other things I want to mention, like uh, like the the um, the um, uh, Game of Thrones <laughs> finale. Uh, I was a big, I was a not a huge Game of Thrones fan, but a pretty, pretty big Game of Thrones fan. And I, I read online, I read online, of course, everything's online, uh, that some people were protesting the ending and they wanted to, there was a petition to redo, uh, redo the last season, I think it was. And some of the uh, actors came out and said that was ridiculous. Uh I agree, but you know what? It's so ridiculous that it doesn't need to be commented on. Like, if I were an actor, uh, a professional actor, like a big, a a a, a big, you know, a, a big shot Hollywood star, or whatever, I would not be wasting my time commenting on silly online petitions with whatever number of people. Um, I just think it makes those people look silly. And yeah, it's rude. It's stupid. <laughs> but you don't have to say that. Just ignore it. So I think those actors actually hurt themselves by just even just acknowledging the existence of that. Um, if someone had asked me that question during some kind of interview, I would say, well, you know, I'm, I'm sure that a lot of people have different views over the ending. And that's it. I wouldn't have said it, it's stupid or rude or anything. But, but here's something that's even stranger. Uh, and I, I, have, I have no idea if there's any connection to it, but apparently they're going to uh, do a, se a sequel or something where is this uh, entertainment the anti-vaxxers not the anti-vaxxers I'm sorry the Game of Thrones uh, people who make Game of Thrones will make a new one they're gonna, they're, or uh, some sequel or something there's going to be one last final but I heard they were going to do that before beforehand so in fact I think it's theoretically supposed to come out yesterday but I haven't heard anything about it uh, well, I also I haven't looked either but um yeah so so that's about it uh yeah <laughs> i think that's there's so much silliness to comment so i feel like every day there's things i want to tell you guys about stuff that i read in the news and i just think oh god uh, i am excited I, well let's 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 end with some great news um i'm really excited about the new <laughs> terminator movie coming out i think it's this year isn't it so that's really cool. It's called what's uh, Terminator Dark Fate, and let's see when's it coming out. I forgot when it's coming out. When's it coming out? When's it coming out? When's it coming out? Anyone know? Uh, November first, twenty nineteen. Yeah. So that's great. And I showed my son. He doesn't know anything about Terminators. He's four years old. I showed him the Terminator. Uh, Dark Fate trailer, and when Linda Hamilton came out, he's like, she's cool. Kakui <laughs> desne. He's he had he had no idea what the Terminator was or anything, but he knows what he knows what um, Transformers are. So, kind of I could kind of like uh, uh, in, introduce the concept to him that some robots or some people are robots or cyborgs and things like that. Oh, on also good news, good news for me. I put out a new uh, Barber 88 video, which a lot of you don't care about, which is the AS ASMR channel. But uh, for me, you know, uh, I'm, I met some really cool people thanks to the ASMR videos. And one of them is a guy named Adora, who who lives south of me about an hour and a half or two hours. And uh, he's a barber. He's a, he's a cool, young, hip, motorcycle driving, fucking kick-ass barber. And I'm happy to, to uh, call him a friend. And he invited me to his wedding, so that was a lot of fun. He let me videotape. In fact, he asked me to videotape and take pictures. So, 
that was really cool and it was a Buddhist wedding which is really really rare because usually Japanese uh, get married Buddhist style and they get buried or they have their funerals Shinto no is it the other way no I'm sorry backwards they usually get married Shinto style and they get buried Buddha style he's getting married Buddha style which is just rare I've never heard of it uh, in fact I and I talked to some other Japanese people on um, some Japanese people, I'm not Japanese of course he I talked to some Japanese people and they're like yeah I've never heard I've never heard of that before I've never been to that kind of wedding so that's cool and he let me videotape that so that video I guess uh, he, he you know he's given me permission to put it up so I will sometime but I don't know when because I'm you know I've got a I've got to edit it and that's the other thing I've been occupying my days with recently which is fixing and uh, fixing old computers that have been have been pretty much dead like this this is a whoops this is my old 15 inch uh, laptop which I using uh, DIY videos on YouTube what's not on there I was able to uh, revamp or refurbish and ch change out the hard drive and what's not it's not charged and I put a new SSD in there drive in there and now it works really really smoothly and it's much uh, cooler so I, it's kind of given me new hope that I can actually do things with, with these hands because you know sometimes I try fixing things that doesn't work and once in a while it does and and uh, that, that's my next <laughs> my next mission is to get rid of all my old computers which are good these are great computers but when it comes to editing the kind of stuff that I edit the, the long ASMR videos or these videos right here that are over 20 minutes long I need more power so that's what I'm working on right now getting rid of the older computers and we get a new computer so I'm saving up money for that uh, so that's how, that's how I've been occupying my, my time uh, uh, kind of setting the stage for the next um, the next uh, the next phase of give me a break man which is which is uh, going I can see the light now because my son and I guess this is one reason I, I'm able to make this video my son started pooping in the toilet regularly which is a big step and his sister is even faster like up here because she copies everything he does so he's helped her uh, than he is you know so I, I, I predict that she will be faster too. So soon I will have, you know, instead of spending time changing diapers and things like that, uh, I'll have a little more time to myself to, uh, uh, to make videos, which is what I really do enjoy doing. So that's about it. I just wanted to comment on a few things. There's more, there's more to comment on, like that crazy Japanese politician who said, the only way Japan is going get to the, get the Northern Islands back is if we have war with Russia, which is just a ridiculous thing to say. Um, but, but things like that I, I want to be able to comment on more often which I will try to do and uh, you know this isn't the best video uh, but um, you know at least I got to, I got a reason to drink and I did inform I anyway you know you got to get back on the horse so I'm getting back on the horse this is me get this is me getting back on the horse I'm making a video for you and telling you what I think and showing what I'm editing so I'm now editing a, a KitKat video that I videotaped, uh, recorded years ago. I don't even know when. Do you know when this when this was? This is ridiculous. This will this will shock your whole this video. Is. Oh, this is from 2016, so it's three years old. April 1st. I never got around to editing. Yeah, that's my life. <laughs> anyway, I'm editing it now, so look for that soon. It's with Charlie Nosekatsu. It's with Kibi and Tomoko and uh, Tom Fallon from Ghost of Matsubara and Pickles the Gaijin or Giggles the Baijing, whatever it is, whichever you prefer. That's all I got for you now. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye bye. Yeah, bye.